for more on what's ahead for jo for China. Rather, we are joined on the phone by David Cohen. He is the head of the Asian Forecasting at Action Economics. He is with us right now on the phone from Singapore. David, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Scarlett just highlighting there for us that maybe in February we see another move from the People's Bank of China. Do you think all of the activity is going to be front loaded in the first half of the new year? Uh, well. Uh Certainly, they're going to be watching the, the inflation uh, data as it uh, unfolds. So, certainly, since the, the most recent uh, report showing the, the jump in, in the November CPI above 5%, the market had been waiting for them to, 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 to hike. Uh, maybe the timing at, at Christmas was, was a little bit of a surprise. But uh, I, I think most people expect they, they're still further to go. But I, I, I think they'll be playing it by ear. Uh, Remember, so far, much of the inflation pickup was centered in food prices. So if they do get a little bit of relief there, maybe they won't have to go quite as far uh, with the tightening. Uh, we're thinking maybe it could go up a whole full percentage point, 100 basis points by the end of next year. Uh, the economy is showing considerable momentum as we finish 2010. And at the same time, the global picture is looking a little more solid. I mean, just a, just a, a little while ago, like everyone else, the, China was, was worried about the global recovery, perhaps um, losing some steam, maybe the U.S. going into a double dip. That, that could have been a drag on their export uh, demand. But uh, I think but like everyone around the world, the, the Chinese are probably a little more confident that the, the global recovery is, is, is continuing into next year. And at the same time, they remain uh, probably the strongest of any major economy. David, we thank you so much for your insight. David Cohen of Action Economics, he's joining us there on the phone from Singapore.